Now we haven't heard from her in about three years, but Zelda is back as Nintendo announces the latest game, Breath of the Wild. Now until we can get our hands on it, here are five things for you to look forward to. The name of the game, Breath of the Wild, already indicates a free world, and the truth is, it's pretty spectacular. The open map leads through versatile landscapes, ranging from plains and deserts to even snowy mountains. Changes to the weather have also been introduced, which does mean that your fire could be put out in the rain. It's also not an impossibility of getting electrocuted when using a sword. You won't be missing out on any action here. Link sprints through the landscapes, rides horses, and climbs just about any mountain. He can chop down trees in order to use the log to cross previously unconquerable canyons. If he wants to maintain his health, he'll need to make a fire to cook his meals. He can also throw himself off cliffs and use the paraglider to fly across the world. And of course, these various ways of getting around also help him in his face-to-face -face battles. Link has a large variety of weapons and clothes to choose from. In addition to the usual weapons such as his sword, Link can now push stones onto his enemies or even pick up broken tree branches to attack them with. He can also activate the flurry rush mode whenever he executes a perfect move. This makes everything around him go in slow motion, making it much easier to attack with more precision, ultimately causing more damage to his enemies. As you explore the worlds of the game, you'll come across the Shrines of Trials, of which there are more than a hundred. You'll need to solve the puzzles in the dungeons and discover the various treasure chests. Until now, we've only seen mini dungeons, and the real dungeons are yet to be seen. Link's new abilities help him by bringing the treasure into reach and killing his enemies on the way. Following a hundred years, Link is resurrected after hearing a woman's voice telling him to open his eyes. It seems that the villain of the series, Ganon, will also play a part in the game, as he has been mentioned in some of the dialogues. Some indications also suggest that the Wind Waker and the world of Hyrule have been ravaged by a mysterious catastrophe. Following the direction of the voice in his head, Link enters the large variety of shrines around the world and starts exploring. Now, if you can think of any more reasons why this game is so great, please share them in the comments below. See you next time.